Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. No, Osana isn't in the game yet, and I know we all want her to be in the game, her rival too, so we can try to eliminate her and get Sand Daddy all for ourselves, but I guess we just have to wait a little bit longer. What I'm going to do in this video, because I've been wanting to make new videos of this game, because I miss playing this game. I only play this game like once or twice a month, and I miss playing it. So what we're going to do, we are just going to go through Yandere Dev's new video. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, because you guys could watch the whole thing for yourselves. I'm just going to show a few things that I personally care about, as as well as check out a few things in this update and here it is the music store has been changed into a gift shop gifts purchased from the store can be given to rivals during the matchmaking minigame or given to senpai to restore his sanity after he experiences a damaging event there is a new song for the ddr machine yes but the current arrows i believe the technical term is beat map are placeholder and the music arrows will probably be changed in the next update senpai now has a short simple reaction to finding a present on his desk and there's a new character in the characters page of the Yandere Simulator website. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. All right, so this one doesn't really mean anything. I just thought it was pretty funny. I'm going to press play, and then you guys tell me what you guys think I think is funny. On Friday, Osana has a conversation with Musume that sounds bad out of context. The player can record this conversation and make sure that Senpai hears it. Did you guys miss that? I'm pretty sure you didn't miss that because he zoomed in on that thing. Look how Player big that thing is. What is that? A big black dildy? If you were having a conversation with your homie and that then you look to your right and you context. see behind a tree, not the only a girl listening in, but listening in with sure that, that big thick thing. Come on, man. There's got to be a better way. Okay, another thing that I think is cool, guys, is Yandere Dev is trying to clean up as many exploits and glitches that you can do when you eliminate Osana. And I just think that the fact that she can still confess to him at night, like this scenario right here, I think that looks dope. I wish that we can come to the school at nighttime like this. Like, I want that kind of change. I want you to be able to sneak in the school at night and be able to just like plant traps for the next day. Or like, you know how you can place bugs around the school as listening devices? I wish that you could sneak into the school by like a hole in the fence or something and then just like plant those bugs at night. So during the day, you don't have to waste your time doing that. And then you can get all sneaky, sneaky and freaky, freaky. All right, there is one more Other thing that I want to check that out and it has to do with this part right here in the corner. Sport. Look at that. Oh, look at Yanchan wearing that. Did you guys see that? Hold on. All right, don't worry about Yandere Dev's voice. Look at Yanchan yoinking herself over the fence in all black. It probably has to do with that one cutscene we seen a long time ago where Yanchan was sneaking into somebody's house and she was like climbing the fence. So I think she's either sneaking into Osana's house or Raiburu's house. But that's basically all I wanted to check out from the video. Let's get on with the rest of the episode. All right, so the first thing that we're going to check out is the new music store in the town. I don't even know why I'm checking this out. I just want to see some things, okay? Like I told you, I miss playing this game. Uh, is this it? No, that's the manga store, hardware store, where's the gift shop? Electronic store, move! All right, here we go, gift shop. Famous Japanese novel, Quack. classic music CD, Quack. bonsai tree kit, calligraphy kit, origami kit, cat hair clip, cat earrings, cat necklace, cat bracelet, cat stocking. Senpai's not gonna like all this stuff. Maybe the bonsai tree kit, I guess, because, I don't know, Senpai's a fuckboy? All right, so I got $145 now, and don't ask me how I got it. We're gonna get a famous Japanese novel, classical CD, bonsai tree, calligraphy kit, origami, cat hair clip, earrings, necklace, bracelet. Oh no, I'm broke as a joke? Seriously, I'm sorry, man, but it seems you don't have enough money to purchase that. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Okay, so before we go, a lot of people told me in the comment section of the last video that they want me to confirm if that is the Psycho Sun. It is the Psycho Sun! This is the most psycho dude that I've ever seen in my life. Look at this fool. Only psychos use binoculars on a boat to see other people on land. Like, I don't even know how to confirm it any more than that. And like I said, there's a new character in the Yandere Simulator characters page. I hope it's this girl because I got to know about that outer space booty right now. But we got the gifts that we got to get to Senpai. So let's head to school. Here we go. It is now 8.03 a.m. San Daddy is checking out me. Hey, Daddy. How you doing? Can what? I I barely did anything. You want me to do something? I'm right here. I'm waiting for you. Like one of your French girls. Okay, hold on. Let me get away from there because I'm looking like a freak. So I'm going to leave the gift. There you go. All nicely wrapped in a white box with a red bow. I am so sweet. I'm a sweetheart. Okay. So we're just going to not hide there. We're not going to hide there. Okay. We're going to give him the gift. He's checking it out. Checking it twice. Naughty or nice. That's it? He just looks at it? 
That's it? No! I thought he was gonna be like, oh boy, G Willikers, Batman. This is a nice gift with a red bow. I can't wait to open it. Guys, I can't believe that. Like, this dude just looked at it like it was a piece of dog do right on his shoe. And he's an ungrateful pinche puta. And I don't like that. I just have to be honest with you guys. I don't like that. You know what? Forget Senpai being grateful about all that stuff. We got to look up the new character in this Yandere Simulator characters page. And everybody looks run of the mill so far. Like, we know all these people. And then, ba bam Look at this switch. What's this? Wife. That's all her name is, is wife. Okay, this text is way too long for me to read, but basically, yeah, she's the wife of Mr. Psycho, and she's a boss, okay? She's a boss bitch. That's all you guys need to know. You know what, guys? I'm gonna read about Raiburu because I never actually read about her, and I just can't wait to whoop her ass. Exactly one year before Yandere Simulator takes place, Raiburu was the president of the Martial Arts Club. She was a very good teacher and taught many students self-defense, even if they weren't actually members of the club. Many students underestimated Raiburu due to her cute and girly appearance. A lot of students challenged her to duels, believing that they could easily defeat her, but she never lost a single match. It earned her the nickname of the indestructible rival. Raiburu's star pupil was Budo. Budo learned many things from his sensei Raiburu and held an immense amount of respect for her. At the end of the semester, Budo unexpectedly challenged Raiburu to a duel. She accepted his challenge and to everyone's surprise, Budo defeated Raiburu, shattering the 100% win streak she had worked so hard to maintain. However, Raiburu was not angry when she was defeated, she was relieved. For a long time, she wanted to stop practicing martial arts and pick up another hobby, but she felt obligated to keep practicing martial arts because of her win streak. Now that her streak was broken and one of her own students had surpassed her, she felt like it was finally okay to quit martial arts. How old is she? She seemed old as shit teaching these kids. After the school semester ended, Raiburu made a new friend, Osana Najimi. They spent a lot of time with one another and quickly became the best of friends. In fact, the two of them grew so close that they even started to wear matching accessories. At the point in time when Yandere Simulator takes place, it's extremely rare to see Osana without Raiburu at her side. The two of them have become almost inseparable. Even though she's not participating in the martial arts club anymore, Raiburu is still at peak physical condition and is more than capable of breaking bones in order to protect herself or her friends. This means that the safest place in school is at Raiburu's side. That's crazy guys because Osana is the first rival in the game and she already got a freaking bodyguard that can just wow wow you know, she could just hit you with the dook, 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 dook. Like, what's gonna happen when we get the second rival? We're gonna get somebody in a freaking robot machine just, like, shooting machine gun lasers at you? Like, if Raiburu is what we're gonna expect from the very first rival, just imagine what we're gonna see when we actually get to Megami at the end of the game. It's gonna be hell. But anyway, guys, we gave Sen Daddy his gift. We saw the new character, I believe. I think the wife's the new character. If she's not, I'm gonna be very disappointed in myself. But the last thing that we're gonna do... We're gonna get a perfect score on this new song, baby. It is called Queen of Dance. That's funny because that's what everybody calls me in real life. So we're gonna, oh my goodness. Okay, no misses. No misses, only hits. Here we go, guys. All right, no more talking, just perfection. Just listen, bob your head, and have a good time. Do, da, do, da, boo, ja, boo, ja. I don't even know what I'm doing, guys. But just know that even though the camera's not on, I'm bobbing my head and I'm looking like an idiot. Uh, 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 oh my goodness. Okay, magic fingers in the building. I already missed one. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on, man. Give me a freaking break. All right. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, hi, Chihuahua. Okay, got it. Oh, still perfect in you guys' hearts, right? And you guys' mind, body, and soul, right? What am I even saying? Oh, that was a two-for-one special there. You guys saw that? I pressed two at one time. It's that real DDR. It's that DDDDR. Okay, oh my goodness. What is this? Ah, my brain can't process this. There you go. Come on, good vibes only. Good vibes only. Oh, show me the good vibes. Show me a good time. Oh, crap. Okay. Still doing good. Yanchan still moving those toes. Those greasy, nasty-smelling toes. Give me some. Yeah. Yes, I am clapping for myself. What you gonna do about it? Gotta love thyself. Rank B? Really? You can't be serious. All right, yes, that was another dad joke, but I do get one dad joke per video. It was in my contract. Like, once I have my son, I get one lame dad joke per vid, so cut me some slack. All right, I'm gonna do it again, okay? I'm not gonna talk, guys. Don't leave. Don't leave this video, because you're gonna miss perfection, okay? I don't want you to roll your eyes either. Hey, I see you rolling your eyes over there. 
One of you guys was rolling your eyes. I saw it. Put those eyes back in your socket. I'm about to get no misses. No misses. Come on now, baby. Give me some. Oh, yeah, give me some. That one I like to see. Oh, God. I already missed. Okay. I'm going to end this episode because I already missed, and I'm not going to do this again. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to tell a friend today that Jay from the Cubs Scouts is that dude!